I remember uh, there being a story about uh, him being a really good high school football player and uh, uh, a really fine quarterback and could really throw the ball. I can remember conversations about uh, being offered Division I scholarships. I was recruited by Arizona State, Tulsa, Lamar, Louisiana Tech, and uh, Virginia. And then shoulder injuries and uh, you know the next thing you know that all sort of goes away. You know I went on visits and stuff but the whole, the whole time I would go on visits, I was just like, uh, part of me didn't want to be here. I wanted to, I wanted to be, you know, playing basketball. So I mean, I had opportunities to play at some of those schools, and I just, I just didn't feel like football was uh, where I wanted to be. But there's a lot of guys out there with a story, you know, and we get calls and people calling on us all the time that, uh, you know, if I'd have done this or I'd have done that, then. You know, I've been playing Division One and all that stuff. I was always better at football than the other two, but uh, I just uh, had a couple concussions playing football, and I've always loved basketball more. I just fell in love with uh, the tempo of, of basketball and, and how fast paced it is, and uh, everything happens so quick. And I mean, I, I don't know, just football. I just I just didn't have the same passion to to keep playing it. I remember he came in the spring and was talking about wanting to try out for basketball and of course we didn't know a thing about him and uh, you know we asked him a little about his experience and uh, he didn't say a whole lot about that but uh, I told him that you know he could try out but there would be no promises made and uh, uh, he would be strictly uh, considered as a, a, a potential member of the team more by I guess walk-on type of position since we didn't know much about them and we sort of left it at that. And, you know, sometimes guys come in there and they, they say these things and they, they want a chance but we never see him again. So uh, it's sort of out of sight, out of mind until he showed up in the fall. That's pretty much what happened. Uh, once I got accepted here, I you know, came and checked out the campus. I hadn't even been here before besides uh, when I was here for the conference tournament at Concordia. And they were here that day, so I went and talked to him, and he just said, you know, no promises, but if you want to come try out, then, then uh, you could do that. And a lot of guys would uh, be like, well, I guess he didn't really, doesn't really want me, so I may not even go. But it, my whole mindset at that whole time, from preseason to when we first started practice, my first year here was I was already a part of this team. Like I just, I just, I just felt that way, and uh, the older guys then were Nolan and Matt, and they just really, they really embraced me, and I really appreciate them for that. But I just had, I just had the mindset that I wasn't, you know, that I didn't just walk in here and and, and just trying it. Like I had the mindset that that they wanted me to play here. Really, it was good timing for me because. That was the year after the Sweet 16 here, and, and they lost quite a bit of guys. So there was there was room for an opportunity, and uh, I'm just yeah, I'm just really really happy that uh, that I ended up here, thinking about how how it could have been different for me. You know, he's a he's a great kid. He's very even keeled. You know, I think he's got good skills. Uh, he can shoot it. You know, he can rebound it. Uh, he's been an excellent addition to our program, and. Uh, you know, I'd love to take all the credit for recruiting him, but that would be the biggest lie. Uh, he showed up on his own accord, but I'm sure glad he did because he's a great kid. He's very well liked by his teammates. Uh, he's a yes sir, no sir kind of guy, and he's just been a joy to be around.